hungry. Try the vegetarian chili. Hey Heartlanders. Today I'm gonna to show you what I call Maggie's vegetarian chili, which they talk about on Heartland a lot. Here you go. Vegetarian chili times two. Thank you. Thank you. So I put everything on the cutting board. I use onion, mushrooms cut up, green peppers. I didn't cut them up very well. And coriander, some tomato. I use this three bean blend of beans, but you could use any beans you want, kidney beans, pinto. And then I use this ground, it's a plant-based ground beef. And the company is Gardein but you could use Morningstar or whatever else veggie, I call them veggie grounds you wanna use. So first I'm going to fry the onions. So I usually put the onions in first, then I put the garlic in a little bit later. So it fries a little bit, but not as much as the onions. So after I put in the garlic and the onion, cooked them for a little bit, I put in the fake meat or the veggie grounds, I call them. And then I put in the vegetables, the tomato, the peppers, and the mushrooms. Doesn't it look good? Next, I put in the spices, which is chili powder, cumin. And then at the end, I put a little oregano and basil. But right now I'm going to put the cumin and the chili powder in. Fry that up. Put a little extra oil if you need to. I always like extra oil personally. And then dump the beans in. You can put it right with the liquid from the beans. Or you can strain them. It's just your preference. So after you add your one or two cans of beans, you can add your frozen corn. The last two ingredients are the chopped cilantro and then the secret ingredient, which is three cups of V8. So, so this is how the chili looks while it's all cooking. It's a very colorful and beautiful dish and it tastes delicious and it's really easy to make. And it's low fat without the beef in it. And you won't miss it. So to give your chili a little bit of a, a kick, you could either add Tabasco sauce here or a little bit of paprika. But you don't really need to. It tastes great without the spices as well. Here you go. Vegetarian chili times two. Thank you. So here's the finished product of my version of Maggie's vegetarian chili. And I also made some cornbread cake on the side, which came out really, really good and moist, not crumbly. Um, and so if you guys would like me to also post that recipe, I can. And bye for now. Keep Heartland strong.